Do you remember the first time of being physically abusive? No. May I ask you, if it, had you ever um, been physically abusive to anyone before me? No. I was, I was so young. Yeah. You know, you were my first real girlfriend. Do you remember the frequency of the abuse? Um, I um, clearly haven't remembered this. <laughs> Some days stick in your head forever. No matter what you do, you can't forget them. I will always remember July 20th because it was the last time Steve hit me. 20 years ago, I was 18 years old and I was leaving a nightmare of a life. I should have been making out or hanging at the mall, slow dancing or writing bad songs for each other. But two weeks into our relationship, until I left almost two years later, I was physically abused by him daily. On that July 20th, 20 years ago, I had just finished working my first shift at a club in Kitchener. He had been watching me all night. I remember feeling Steve's hands around my neck. I remember thinking how this was so fucking not fair because I had left him a few days ago. The violence was supposed to stop. I remember thinking, how am I supposed to work until two in the morning, be stalked, hit, strangled, and wake up for school the next morning? But then I realized I could do it because I had been doing it for the past two years. And with that thought, I pushed him off me, threw my heels off, and ran. Steve was always close behind, but I was a fast runner. I still am. If I ever need to run again, I can. And I will. I screamed, someone help me, please. I don't know this guy, help me. I remember hearing someone say people react more if they think it's a stranger attacking you rather than someone familiar. How messed up is that? I'm running and I get to a set of lights. A pickup truck stops beside me. A door opens and a man says, get in. I looked at him and then back at Steve, who was getting closer. This man noticed my hesitancy and said, I'm not going to hurt you. In my brain, I trusted no one. But I got in because I was tired of being abused by Steve. I heard the man take a deep breath and he said, you don't deserve this, you know. I know, I said, but actually, I didn't know. I don't know why this man helped me when so many others looked away but my heart holds a ton of love for this stranger whom I spent five minutes with. There is nothing better than remembering someone who intervened or spoke those important words. You don't deserve this. I was surprised to hear this man say that. Steve had a million ways to say how deserving I was of being hit, raped, spit on, strangled, made fun of because I was brown, a packy, ugly. But it's important to me that people don't view Steve as a monster. I just don't think that helps. I wonder how much violence could be prevented or lives saved if we were able to get inside the head of the abuser.
So when I ran into Steve in Toronto, my city, the city where Steve has never hurt me, I asked him if he would be willing to tell his story. Why was he so angry? What did he think about when he was abusing me? Has he changed? What do people tell themselves to justify the abuse? Do they know what they're doing is wrong? What can we learn from Steve? Are we ready to listen to people who have hurt others? <laughs>